The Tesla Semi doesn't just compete against offerings from other EV innovators such as Nikola BYD and Lion Electric. It also has to contend with all electric versions of trucks built by traditional manufacturers, including Freightliner, Volvo, Peterbilt, and Kenworth. According to a new specification analysis, it obviously crushes these other vehicles. So how can the 21st century technology of Tesla beat the 100-year-old technology of other truck manufacturers? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel friends before we begin please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future now let's get started with today's content the analysis done by next big thing considers nine factors when comparing the tesla semi to its competition the nine factors include price range payload federal discount state discount efficiency power max gcw or gross combination weight and charge charge time. Perhaps most notably, the price of the Tesla Semi is very competitive when compared to other competitors. The Semi will start at an expected base price of $150,000 for a battery with a 300 mile range. With a 500 mile range, the battery will be priced at $180,000. What may come as a surprise to some people is that the electric hauler's price with incentives is less than $200,000 and most rivals cost significantly more. In comparison, several examples such as the Freightliner E Cascadia and the Nikola Trier range from $300,000 to $500,000. The Tesla Semi is estimated to be at least $100,000 less than everyone else. The semi shows some impressive statistics for energy consumption. So what do those statistics show exactly? One figure was notable, the 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile of electricity use. That's a lot more than a sedan like the Tesla Model 3 at 0.25 kilowatt hours per mile, as you would expect. It's also better than the competing electric truck offerings from Volvo, Lion, Lion 8T, BYD, and others, which range from 2.2 to 3.2 kilowatt hours per mile. After the recent customer delivery event, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that the actual efficiency is even better than the official number from specs. According to Elon Musk, the current number is 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, with a clear path to 1.6 kilowatt hours per mile and a possibility of 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile. That's interesting information because it suggests that the Semi's battery pack might be slightly smaller than we initially thought. Assuming 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile and 500 miles of range, it might be just around 850 kilowatt hours. If efficiency can be improved to 1.6 kilowatt hours per mile, the Tesla Semi would need only 800 kilowatt hours to drive 500 miles. At the theoretical rate of 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile, it would be just 700. 150 kilowatt hours. So, what's the cost of an energy consumption rate of 1.7 kilowatt hours? One diesel truck, it's economic suicide for rail. This beats rail. The national average grid price is just 23 cents, but DC fast charging is expensive. It needs big, expensive chargers that cost as much as $100,000 each. That's why car chargers that run from 50 kilowatts to 350 kilowatts tend to charge from 30 to 50 cents per kilowatt hour. Meanwhile, Tesla is promoting a megawatt charger for the semi, and given past patterns, you can expect charging from that to come at a higher price. In contrast, with a diesel truck at $5 per gallon, that's 70 cents per mile for fuel, making it still more expensive than electricity. Moreover, diesel trucks cost about 17 cents per mile for maintenance. The Tesla Semi will almost certainly cost less as its electric powertrain has few parts that need maintenance at all. So that gives a little room to make the electric Semi cheaper to operate when using fast chargers. But the one characteristic that says sets the Tesla Semi apart from its competitors is range. That being said, can the Semi's competitors hope to even approach the Semi's level of range? The reason that it's a beast is because it's also efficient. And you, know, you can go 500 miles on a single charge on one of these things. 
Tesla has always been a leader when it comes to range. It maintains that its trucks can travel up to 500 miles according to its website. Recently, PepsiCo VP Michael Connell said that a semi can carry a load of Frito-Lay chips for an impressive 425 miles with a battery to spare, but potato chips in air-filled bags are one of the lightest loads imaginable. For heavier fares such as sodas, PepsiCo is limiting trips to 100 miles with the truck. For comparison, competing models offer from 125 to 330 miles of range. It's nearly 200 miles shorter than the Tesla Semi. However, the Semi will not only travel further on a charge, it will do so while also charging multiple times faster than the closest competition. How fast is the charging time of the Tesla Semi? A Tesla Semi can be charged in 30 to 60 minutes, all while being powerful enough to complete normal Semi loads, allowing for the best best possible business case for both independent truckers and organizations. In contrast, some trucks such as the Freightliner E-Cascadia and the BYD 8TT take one and a half to four hours to charge. To be fair to the operators, the semi requires the use of specialized charging stations, which are not yet widely available. A lack of service centers may also be a temporary concern, but for those who travel a consistent route with access to charging, the semi might be exactly what you're looking for. However, O'Connell revealed that PepsiCo is upgrading its charging infrastructure with four 750 kilowatt Tesla charging stalls at both its Frito-Lay Modesto and Pepsi Beverages Sacramento locations in California. Moreover, Tesla recently sent an official letter to Canada's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance to focus on electric vehicle charging infrastructure, with a specific section that sheds light on the future of electric vehicles for medium and heavy-duty transportation. This is the reason why the media is calling attention to the Tesla Semi. Uh, so you don't need like a gigantic elephant trunk of a cable. You can actually have a small, small cable and that cable delivers uh, a megawatt. Just as Tesla was a primary driver of bringing electric passenger vehicles into the mainstream, its expansion into semis and pickups could help usher in a new era of electric commercial vehicles. And for those looking to order an electric semi truck today, the choice is clear. How do you feel about the Tesla Semi? Do you think it's becoming a huge hit among US companies? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video please leave us a like share the video subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of evs and green technology once again we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time until then take care and be safe